Greetings everyone and welcome to our University of Windsor Alumni Sports Hall of Fame virtual induction ceremony. My name is Jim Minello and as chair of the Alumni Sports Hall of Fame Executive Committee, I'm pleased to be your host for a wonderful celebration of University of Windsor alumni through this very different Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Sharing these duties with me today will be Kathy Harvey, another member of our Executive Committee. I think we can all agree that we have been living in very interesting times. Our hope is that all of you are safe and well as you watch this in the company of family and friends, and that you take a moment to reflect on the positive and uplifting alumni stories we're about to share. Even though we are unable to gather in person due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we did not want to miss this opportunity to recognize our four new Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductees. Like the great athletes and coaches who have come before them, these 2020 class of athletes demonstrate the same commitment, strength, and talent that characterizes Lancer athletes. Now to officially kick off our 2020 induction, please join me in receiving a message from our President and Vice Chancellor, Dr. Robert Gordon. Greetings, Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductees, alumni, and supporters. First, let me say that I hope all of you continue to stay safe and well during this uncertain time. Like you, I would have preferred to be celebrating our amazing Lancer athletes face to face, and we will when the time is right. But I am grateful to be sharing some thoughts and congratulatory words with you today. I couldn't be prouder to congratulate our 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductees, Noel, Matt, Scott and Oshi. You all represent strength, determination, commitment, and hard work. And each of you are true examples of the amazing Lancer spirit. Thank you for sharing your talents with us. I'd also like to thank uh, the many volunteers and staff who work year round to make the Alumni Sports Hall of Fame a reality. The executive committee led by Chair Jim Manello and the Nomination and Selection Committee meet regularly, promote and review nominations, and this year they have played an important role in the video you are now enjoying. Our Lancer Athletics program is a great source of pride for the entire University of Windsor, and we cannot wait to welcome you back to cheer on the blue and gold. We also look forward to the day when we can welcome you in our new state-of-the-art Lancer Center, where we know many championships will be held and great athletic stories will be told. Again, congratulations to our 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductees. I wish everyone well and look forward to seeing you as we plan a safe return to our great campus. The Alumni Sports Hall of Fame program is sponsored and organized by the Alumni Association and Office of Alumni Relations. Here with a message from our alumni board is President Beth Ann Prince. Hello Lancers, my name is Beth Ann Prince and I'm the current president of the Alumni Association here at the University of Windsor. Congratulations, we know it's been a difficult few months and we wish we were in person to deliver this message, but here we are. Noel, Matt, Scott, and O.C., you are extraordinary examples of student athletes here at the University of Windsor. I wanna thank the entire Alumni Sports Hall of Fame Executive Committee for their tireless work all year round and the nominating selection committee. Our alumni volunteers put their hearts and souls into the annual Sports Hall of Fame induction process and their work is truly valued. The alumni board continues to support our athletic and recreational services through an annual financial agreement along with partnering on special events such as championships, student-led initiatives, and we cannot wait to play such an integral part in the Lancer Sports Recreational Complex. On behalf of the Alumni Board of Directors, congratulations 2020 inductees, and we look forward to seeing you soon face to face at a special ceremony. So in the meantime, be safe and go Lancers. The University of Windsor Alumni Association is able to host events such as the Alumni Sports Hall of Fame ceremony as a result of its affinity partnerships. The association has partnerships with TD Insurance, Manulife, and MBNA MasterCard, and we're grateful for their continued support during this time. The Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductees are elected by a special 60-member nominating and selection committee. The nominations for voting are determined by a volunteer executive committee, 
which meets regularly throughout the year to review nominations. The four 2020 inductees will join 135 athletes already inducted into this prestigious Hall of Fame. Each of our athletes will also receive a customized lapel pin acknowledging their induction into the Alumni Sports Hall of Fame. It is now my pleasure to invite Kathy Harvey to introduce our first 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductee. Two-time DeMarco Award recipient and top female student athlete, Noelle Moncombe represented the University of Windsor on the biggest sports platform possible, the Olympic stage. Noelle participated in the 2016 Rio Olympics where she competed in 400 meter hurdles and finished fourth in the 400 meter relay competition. As part of four OUA track and field provincial championship teams, Noelle was an OUA provincial all-star from 2007 to 2011. She was a two-time Wendy Jerome Trophy recipient, named for the OUA female most valuable track athlete, capturing an outstanding 17 OUA medals over five years. Along with her highly acclaimed provincial accolades, Noelle was also named CIS Female Track Athlete of the Year in 2010. She was a four-time CIS All-Canadian Champion and in 2009 was named to the prestigious CIS Academic Top 8, recognizing the top student athletes in all of Canada. Over her five years of competing, she earned a cumulative 16 individual CIS medals. A graduate of the university's nursing program, Noelle brought prestige and honor to the Lancer Athletic Program. Her national, provincial, and local accomplishments are a true testament to the hard work, dedication, and sheer talent she possesses. She continues to strive for excellence as she now trains for the 2021 Olympics. Congratulations, 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductee, Noelle Moncombe. So first and foremost, I'd just like to thank, you know, thank the uh, selection committee and those who did nominate me for, for this honor. I'm so uh, honored and, and, you know, excited to be inducted with, you know, the fellow nominees and fellow inductees uh, this, this year and in those years past. So it's a great honor and I um, am happy and pleased to represent, you know, the University of Windsor the way that I have and, and just want to thank the selection committee once again. It's a testament to uh, those prior athletes, former athletes that you know were um, people that again I looked up to and and uh, want to recognize me just as they were recognized in the past. And it's something special. And I just want to say um, you know thank you for that. My time as a Lancer were some of my most uh, treasured as an athlete and as a, a student. So um, you know I I formed relationships and friendships that will go on forever. And I'm so thankful for the community that was surrounding me during my time as a Lancer and and now continuing on continuing on still as an athlete and being immersed in the the program was something that I will cherish forever for sure. I always say once a Lancer always a Lancer and and being part of that family is something that um, will live on forever. The the people that were surrounding me while I was an athlete uh, as a Lancer here at the University of Windsor were, like I've mentioned, um, you know, paramount to my success on the track and off the track. They were people, um, you know, first from the, the veterans that were there uh, prior to me coming in that I really looked up to. And I just want to say thank you to them for letting me be the person that I was and not, um, you know, pressuring me in any way to fit in a certain way, but just allowing me to be the person that I am and, and grow into the person that uh, I am today. So I really just want to thank them for that. And, you know, that goes along with uh, my, my fellow teammates, uh, my coaches, the support staff, uh, and, um, you know, my coach still today, uh, Don Garrett, just allowing me to be um, who I am on and off the track. I definitely would just want to, you know, thank those people that have continued to surround me uh, as I am still training and um, transi transitioning into my profession as a nurse. And those people are, um, you know, very special to me, and uh, I owe a lot to them throughout the years, uh, just helping to develop to develop who I am today. And um, yeah, I just want to say thank you. University of Windsor Lancer swimmer Matt Butler not only was a champion and medal winner but also mentored other student athletes as a swimming coach. In 1989 Matt swam his way to be named Windsor Male Athlete of the Year and Olympic Shield recipient. 
He excelled in the backstroke in which he won two OUA championship gold medals along with a CIAU national silver medal. Matt continued swimming after graduation and in 2009 at the World Masters Games in Sydney, Australia, Matt won a gold medal in the same event. In 1992, Matt finished seventh in the Olympic trials for the 100 meter backstroke and also competed in the 1984, 1988, as well as 1992 Olympic trials. He was a CIAU All-Canadian Student Athlete in Swimming in 1992 and is a five-time Lancer Most Valuable Player recipient. In 1989, Matt's time for the 100 meter backstroke of 56.67 seconds ranked him 25th in the world. Matt's amazing performance as a Lancer swimmer served as a blueprint for other athletes when he coached and mentored them as a swimming coach at the University of Windsor in 1992 and 1993. Matt currently runs a successful chiropractic practice in Tecumseh. Congratulations 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductee Matt Butler. Huge honor, uh, basically because uh, I'm humbled by it. Um, and I'm not trying to be like that humble, but I never thought I'd be selected. So to be honored that way, I honestly have a hard time finding words for it. I, I'm very thankful that they looked back and saw that my career was special enough to, to warrant this. I'm extremely humbled by all this. Um, I can't stop smiling thinking about it. So it's the best thing that could happen to me at this point in my life. It's your legacy. So you basically, you know, as I say it, I have a good career and it's, it's up here in my head and obviously there's a few, you know, newspaper clippings, but other than that, there's nothing there that says you did a great thing for this university, you represented this university with honor and at a high level and by being inducted into the Hall of Fame, that basically puts a stamp on my career that I achieved a pretty good uh, level. The specific race and the reason that I got inducted, truthfully, was in uh, 1989 when I was next to Mark Tewksbury who was the eventual gold medalist in 92. And I was so nervous and uh, my coach just said to me, it's four lengths of the pool, I want you to go after him like you've never gone after anybody else and then just let it happen. And uh, I did that, I had the focus, I'll never forget each lane they cheer, right, when they announce your name. So they cheer for everybody and they get to Mark Tewksbury and the whole place cheers. I'm next to him, crickets. All that you heard was this little whistle, just like that was my coach, and it centered me. And I, I remember I was like, okay, I'm ready to go. I can do this. And then the rest is sort of a blur, um, but then when I touched it, you know, and Mark Tewksbury was the first one actually to congratulate me um, on a good swim. So it was, it was really a special moment. My coach, Tom Arusso, um, he was uh, my mentor. He was uh, an incredible uh, source of wisdom and toughness. Uh, he got my mindset to the point where I could deal with um, high-level athletics. Um, I'd also like to thank, truthfully, uh, my mom. My mom was a big part of it. Um, I lost her five months ago, but uh, you know she was a huge part and a huge support supporter of mine all the way through. I wasn't blessed with the best talent. I was tough. I think you can ask my coach. I, I would train as hard as anybody, um, but I didn't have the best talent. But it just shows that if you put in the effort and you work your butt off, um, you can pretty much attain what you want. Um, that's what I take from this, is that you know, this is the culmination of you know, 20 years of swimming hard and putting in the effort, and it finally comes true with this induction, which is just an amazing uh, achievement for me. Lancer hockey alumnus Scott Hillman laced up his skates to help the Lancers win the first ever Queen's Cup Ontario Championship in the 1997-1998 season. This hockey team is now legendary for its championship win and Scott was duly recognized for his outstanding talent and hard work as a member of the Lancer men's hockey program. Olympic Shield and University of Windsor Male Athlete of the Year recipient, Scott is the 13th highest ranked Lancer defenseman with 112 career points. He also received the DeMarco Award for Top Male Athlete in 1997 and was selected team captain in 1999. Scott's recognition as an outstanding hockey player reached beyond the local landscape. In 1999, he was named a CIAU Men's Hockey All-Canadian and was selected as a first-team All-Star at the CIAU National Championship Tournaments in 1998 and 1999. 
He also led the Lancer team to their first two appearances at the CIAU National Championship Final Eight Tournament in school history. Hockey continues to be a large part of Scott's life. He played professional hockey for 10 years and in 2001 was named the Central Hockey League Man of the Year for his work in the community. He won back-to-back -back league titles and was named Coach of the Year with the Knoxville Ice Bears and he held the head coach position in Norway with the team Frisk Asker. Scott currently serves as assistant coach with the University of Maine Black Bears. Congratulations 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductee Scott Hillman. I was both honored and shocked when I received the news that I'd be inducted into the University of Windsor Alumni Sports Hall of Fame. Back in 2018, when my team was inducted, that I could understand. An incredible group of men that achieved a lot together. The incredibly positive experience I had as a University of Windsor student athlete unquestionably shaped my career. The confidence I gained and leadership skills I acquired propelled me to a 20-year career in professional hockey as a player and as a coach. It's a true honor to be a member of the University of Windsor alumni family. I have so many memorable moments from my time there, but none greater than a packed 80 Knox Arena chanting Sweet Caroline as we score the big goal. Since I left the University of Windsor in 1999, I've spent over 20 years in the United States and Europe. To Cranks and the entire crew, the staff and the players that I shared those incredible years with, I can't wait till the borders open so we can get back together and celebrate. So from our home in the state of hockey in Minnesota, I wanna congratulate Matt, Noel and Ozzy, the other outstanding nominees on your induction to the University of Windsor Alumni Sports Hall of Fame. During his time at the University of Windsor, Osita Dinma, OC, and Riagu's tremendous talent and ability as a track and field athlete garnered him and his fellow Lancer teammates many accolades. Osi was a two-time All-Canadian and three-time OUA All-Star long and high jumper. An OUA All-Star in 2003, 2004, and 2007, Osi was a CIS All-Canadian athlete in 2003 and 2007. Also, in 2007, Osi was named Academic All-Canadian. He holds the fourth Lancer all-time high jump record of 2.11 meters and the fifth all-time record at 7.41 meters in the long jump. From 2009 until 2011, Osi was named Canadian Senior National Champion in long jump and in 2009, he earned a bronze medal for his jump of 7.53 meters. He helped lead the Lancer team to five consecutive OUA championships and three CIS men's track and field championships over his five-year career. OC resides in Windsor with his wife, Melissa Bishop, and their daughter, Corinne. Congratulations, 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame inductee, OC Enriagu. First, I'll just start off with saying thank you. Um, I'll be honest, I was very surprised. I saw some of the people I was going against, and I was like, yeah, you know what, it's great to be nominated, but more than likely, I'm not gonna get in. Being a student athlete, it's one of the greatest things that probably happened in my life for me to do some of the things I have been able to do now and some of the things I've accomplished in life. Coming to the University of Windsor, um, being a part of the track and field team, Family was always the forefront of why I enjoyed and loved doing track and field. Um, from when you wake up and when you get to the track, you could be having the worst day of your life. You step on the track, you see basically all your family members who are all there. They could each be having an off day, they can each be having a great day. One person having a great day can turn everything around and it just creates that, that entire family thing and this just ends up being continuation of that and I'm being included in this, the alumni family. I'd like to thank, again, everybody. Um, my wife, like what can I say about her <laughs> that hasn't been said? Uh, my rock, my everything. Um, without her, I wouldn't know where life would be. And she's given me my daughter, who's my, my next everything in life, um, my mom. My sister, who basically raised me next to my mom, my brother, my father, 
I guess I can go on and on with names and people who've been involved with every aspect of my life who've helped guide me to where I am today. The Windsor family, uh, you guys are, are everything. <laughs> you guys are, you leave away from being at home with your original family members and you go to university and you don't know what to expect. And you go to a track practice where you are the only person there, you don't know anybody else there. And these guys, they smile and they take you in and they don't hesitate in making you a part of that whole um, camaraderie, that whole family aspect. You, They adopt you in, I guess you say. Um, and there's no look at color, there's no look at race, there's no look at sexuality, there's nothing. They, as soon as you step on that track and field, we are each become one family outside of everything else and we all competed together for that one goal, and together we accomplished that goal, at least with myself three times, CIS champions. You guys honestly were part of everything that happened, transpired with track and field and myself. My track family, uh, every day, every time I stepped on the track, you guys were there, you cheered me on when I was down, you cheered me up when I was up, and you cheered me on to the success that I was able to accomplish while at the University of Windsor. I would like to thank each and every one of you guys. Noel, Scott, Matt, and O.C., on behalf of the Alumni Association and everyone at the University of Windsor, congratulations on your 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame induction. You are truly an inspiration to athletes, students, and alumni, and we're proud to call you members of the University of Windsor family. Now, with a message from Athletics and Recreational Services, is our Athletic Director, Mike Havey. Hello, and thank you for joining us for the 2020 induction ceremony for the University of Windsor Sports Hall of Fame. Like most of you, we would have preferred to do this live and in person, but under the circumstances, we hope that you will enjoy this virtual presentation. I want to congratulate this year's inductees, Matt, Noel, O.C., and Scott. You've impressed us forever with your performances. You're certainly worthy of induction into our Hall of Fame. You've earned every bit of recognition. These are challenging times for the University of Windsor and for the Lancers. I am happy to report, however, that the LSRC project continues to progress and is on time to open in 2022. I also want to tell you that the project to replace the playing surface in Alumni Stadium has been completed. These capital projects are going to add great value to the University of Windsor. And I want to thank the Alumni Association for their financial support of both of these important projects. Finally, I want to thank our Alumni Association and the Sports Hall of Fame Executive Committee for their ongoing and continuous commitment to recognizing the exploits, the talents, and the achievements of our Lancer alumni. Thanks very much for your ongoing support. Go Lancers! Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Alumni Association, we thank you for supporting our athletes and all of our University of Windsor students. We wish you good health during this difficult time and we cannot wait to welcome you back to campus soon. This concludes our 2020 Alumni Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony. We extend special thanks to everyone in the Alumni Relations Office for their work in organizing this year's presentation, but especially Executive Director Patty Lozon, Catherine Simon, and Karen Flanagan. Congratulations once again to all of our recipients and thank you for being with us.